I'd love to have been in on the pitch meeting for the title of this one. All right, guys, can we go with uh, Sinister-er? No, 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 let's go with uh, the Sinisterist. Sinterest? Yeah, let's just go with Sinister 2. Sinister 2 is the name of the movie. It is a horror sequel to the movie Sinister uh, about kids who film the murder of their families so that they can please the boogeyman. I think that's the simplest way to say it. Sounds like a fun and exhilarating concept, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not. It wasn't really in the first one, and to make a sequel about it uh, really takes it to a whole nother level. Now, granted, I'm not a horror movie fan, but I can identify when something from the genre takes a step out and does something new and different in a way that is attractive to a wider audience and to the horror audience as well, I think. I think of movies like It Follows or Cabin in the Woods or those kind of things. This doesn't do this. It's very derivative, and I can only see it appealing to kind of that that really diehard horror fan who just wants to be jump scared. That's the kind of movie that this is. Let's get into a little more details. If I had to pick something I liked about it, which I like to try to do, I'd have to say it was funny-ish. There were moments where the humor kind of came through here. It's interesting because the lead character in this, I should say the lead male character in this, I guess you can consider the kids the lead, but I mean adult male, is kind of a like um, one of those bumbling deputies, you know, I think of like Barney Fife from the Andy Griffith show. So he has these moments and he plays it all right, uh, where that bumbling sense of humor comes through in a movie that is also about trying to really, really scare you. So I think the humor works on occasion, but almost to the film's detriment because it really messes with the tone of the movie. If you're really trying to appeal to a horror audience, uh, I would think that tone disparity would confuse them in some ways, confuse the audience in some ways, because it just doesn't make sense. Are you supposed to be laughing? Are you supposed to actually be scared? It's not cheesy. It's not campy. It's just trying to be funny, and I think there's a difference there. Also, the fact that he's not a great actor, as really the entire cast don't really do a good job in this movie, that kind of brings things uh, down a bit because you don't believe any of it. None of it makes sense. The kids don't really feel like they're believable or interesting in any way. This movie just boils down to, again, a series of ways that you can create creatively murder a seemingly loving family. That is what this is about. It's about the concept. And literally six or seven different ways you can creatively murder these people. And honestly, I think the movie is trying to say something about the distrust of a beautiful, loving family. That offends me a little bit in some way because I believe I have a beautiful and loving family. That's not always fake. There actually are marriages where people love each other. There actually are families that don't have weird underlying things under the surface. I mean, we've all got something. We've all got our stuff. I'm just saying this movie seems to like, you know, take a, a literally take an ax to it and say, you know, that they don't they don't believe in that. So it almost seems like there's kind of an agenda in, you know, these literal murders on screen trying to kind of murder that ideal of what a family looks like. And I, I can understand that, but at the same time, I fight back against it just a little bit if that makes sense. And maybe I'm just overthinking the whole thing. Maybe it's just a really bad horror sequel. Uh, overall, that's probably where it lands for me. Um, I would give it, oh, let's go with a, a D. <laughs> Uh, that's Sinister 2. Thanks for checking out the review. I'll get to uh, the best ever challenge here in a second, so stay tuned for that. I did want to let you know plenty of other ways that you can interact with your movie friend. Uh, if you click the little cards up in this corner, there's a little eye you hover over there. It'll pull out uh, while the video is going. It won't even stop the video. Uh, links to other reviews that you can see, a link to the website, yourmoviefriend.com, as well as a way to donate to the channel if you want to do that. And I very much appreciate that. I'd also encourage you to look me up on Periscope and Twitter, uh, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E Just search for my name. I'm the only Aaron Dicer in the entire universe. Uh, so you should find me pretty quickly. And I Periscope every movie that I go see. Right after I'm out, throw on Periscope, and I love it because it's interactive. We get to talk together about the movie. You know, I get to take your comments and questions. And uh, that's a lot of fun. So, and it kind of helps me form these reviews too, because you ask things, honestly, a lot of the things that I talk about in these reviews come from those periscopes where people are like, hey, what about this? I'm like, yeah, I should let the audience know about that. So uh, take part in that and uh, just follow me on Periscope. Again, just search for Aaron Dicer once you've got it downloaded on your phone. Uh, also, this, the podcast, Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P, -P, one word, Sift Pop. You can search for iTunes and Stitcher and subscribe. Uh, that comes out every weekend. 
Uh, and let's get to the best ever challenge. We will go, since we're talking horror sequels, best horror sequel ever. Uh, have there actually been any horror movies that had a good second chapter? It's a good question. For mine, it's the one that took the meta inside joke of the horror movie and doubled down on it. Uh, one of my favorite horror sequels ever. I'll let you take a guess at mine in the comments and leave yours so we can have that discussion. As always, here's five extra seconds for you to hit the subscribe logo, which is right down here in this corner. Five seconds. 